What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne, and today I wanted to show you how you can determine your exact traffic source on ClickMagic. So this is extremely important. Uh, if you are advertising on different platforms, for example, Google, some ads on Facebook, some ads on YouTube, and you want to determine which traffic source gives you the most conversion, what is most effective, you can do that so that you can scale it and maybe work on the other ones or maybe remove all the other ones that aren't as effective altogether, okay? So I've looked up some videos on YouTube about this. Uh, the way they show you to do it is just basically make additional links. So they just click create new link and they make new links and they just change this name here, this end of it. So they'll have something like, you know, for you, for us, it's diabetes. It'll be like diabetes.com slash Facebook, diabetes.com slash whatever okay uh, that's one way of doing it but I will show you a much easier and much more effective way so let's get into it so I'm not going to talk about the different ad networks now uh, but what I will do is I'm, I'm, I'm just going to pretend pretend that we are putting these things out and we're sending the links out because obviously when you are uh, advertising something you need to put in a link so I uh, will go on this blank Microsoft Word page just to show you pretending that these are ads so for example Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it here. And so, suppose this is going to be our Google ads. So on Google ads, you say, you know, we'll go over that, but you'll say, um, check out this awesome link here. Um, here's your cure to diabetes. And you give them this link. But in order for you to track it and here's how you differentiate it, all you have to do is put a, I'm just going to zoom in, just put a forward slash and type in whatever identifier tracker you want. You can have up to five of these words between the forward slashes. So it allows you to really customize and really uh, kind of determine where exactly your traffic is coming from. So for example, for Google ads, I'm gonna say slash um, Google ads, and maybe I could put another slash and I could say add one. You know, in another, in another um, Google Ads, suppose I'm split testing Google Ads. Suppose I have three or four, I'll say Google Ads slash add two. Okay, so I'll show you what that's gonna look like later, but that's basically how you do it is you put this little uh, additional word at the end and that will show up uh, when you click on total total clicks. That will show up and that will tell you. So let's let's keep it at that for now. Let's say we also have Facebook ads, we can do the same thing. We can put that link and we could say Facebook. I mean, we don't have to put a slash, we could just say Facebook ad one. You can do it that way. And then suppose we have YouTube ads. Suppose you made a video and you wanna share that video and you wanna see how effective that video is. Again, make, make your own name, whatever you want, maybe video one. So. We have these three, so let's see what they look like and let's see what effect they have. So here's my tracking link so far. As you can see, it's zero, zero. I have reset the stats by clicking here, reset stats. So now let's click on all of them and let's see what happens. So imagine that again, this is your Google ads, this is your Facebook ads, these are YouTube ads, and people are clicking on these different links that you provide them. So I'm gonna click on this. I'll click open hyperlink. It's gonna take me to this page. Now it won't take me to different variations because I'm doing this from the same IP address. So you have to understand that the page will be exa exactly the same, even though we have set up split testing on ClickMagic, as you can see in this video. But uh, for the purpose of this, I just wanna show you what it will look like for you on your ClickMagic to determine your exact traffic source. So I'm gonna open this link. I'm gonna open this link which is Facebook ad and see over here, it's gonna tell you where the traffic is coming from. So when the people click that link, it will show them at the top. It's gonna say Facebook ad, but it's not gonna matter much. They're not gonna be turned off by that, you know? So I'll click open this one as well. Okay, so a quick recap of what we have done is I have clicked on all these links, meaning basically your clients, your potential, people that go on your landing page, they have clicked one of these. Your ads were successful. So now you have to determine which one's more effective. So when I go back here and I click refresh, notice here it says eight total clicks, zero unique clicks, because like I said, I'm from, it's the same IP address. So, but when I click on this, and here's the key, you need to click this little button that says total clicks. Look at this. Oh, zero unique clicks. Okay. 
Okay, so give me one second. Let me just make one unique click. So perhaps I'll do it here uh, because I, you do need one unique click uh, for it to work. So let me just do that. I'll just put it here. There you go. So now it should give me one unique click. Okay, so now that we have one unique click, if I click this, look at this. It breaks it all down. So like I said, it's all going to be from one IP address. So it's all going to go here. But look at this, it tells you Facebook ad one, you have two clicks. Google ads, you have two clicks. Google ads ad two, you have two clicks. And these are all sub IDs, right? So these little forward slashes, the words in the forward slashes, we call them sub IDs. You have YouTube video one. And you know which one will give you the most conversion. Because when we set up the tracking pixel, the tracking pixels in the next videos, you will be able to see which one gives you the highest engagement conversion rate or sales conversion rate or action conversion rate, whatever it is you're looking for. All right. So that's how you do it. Um, so stay tuned for the next videos where we'll uh, go over some additional things um, from Click Magic. And thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next videos.